In the last module, we talked about regulation of the electric grid. In this module, we'll provide a brief overview of WAPA. We'll cover what WAPA is, what it does, and how it fits into and has shaped the Western interconnection. WAPA is a unique agency within the Department of Energy. WAPA employees are guided by the mission to market and deliver clean, renewable, reliable, cost-based federal hydroelectric power and related services across the West. Our vision is to be a premier power marketing and transmission organization. WAPA has nearly 700 wholesale customers and provides power that serves approximately 40 million Americans in the West. WAPA is one of four PMAs, or Power Marketing Administrations, under DOE. Here's a graphical representation of all of the Power Marketing Administrations. They are the Bonneville Power Administration, or BPA, the Southeastern Power Administration, or SEPA, the Southwestern Power Administration, or SWAPA, and the Western Area Power Administration, or WAPA. WAPA covers the largest geographical area of all of the PMAs. It has four regions, one management center, and it has a 15-state footprint. WAPA also has a large transmission system and is one of the top 10 largest transmission utilities in the country. WAPA has three business lines, providing federal hydropower and providing firm electric service to its preference customers from 56 dams. It provides transmission service across its vast transmission system with over 17,000 miles of transmission lines, and it operates three balancing areas. It also manages the Transmission Infrastructure Program, providing $3.25 billion in borrowing authority. As I mentioned, WAPA's mission is to market and deliver clean, renewable, reliable, cost-based federal hydroelectric power and related services. And WAPA accomplishes this mission effectively and efficiently by focusing on our strategic roadmap. This includes continually evolving our services to meet the needs of our customers, developing and maintaining mutually beneficial partnerships, and focusing on business, technology, and organizational excellence. Although the other PMAs existed prior to 1977, WAPA did not. In 1977, was when WAPA was created, the responsibilities for transmitting and marketing generation from the Bureau of Reclamation, Army Corps of Engineers, and the U.S. Boundary and Water Commission dams were given to, to WAPA with the Department of Energy Act of 1977. And although the organization is relatively new, the regulations that direct how WAPA markets and delivers power stretches back for quite a ways, all the way to 1902 with the Reclamation Act. The Reclamation Act created Reclamation Service, which was the precursor to the Bureau of Reclamation, and allowed the federal government to construct irrigation projects to be built in the West and be repaid by the farmers and communities benefiting from them. The next major piece of legislation that occurred was the Reclamation Project Act of 1939 that established that these irrigation projects had multiple uses, such as recreation, flood control, and important to us, the generation of power and energy. It established the requirements for power sales and the requirements for repayment. Then another important piece of legislation came along in 1944, which was the Flood Control Act. This established that public entities would receive preference when allocating the power and energy generated at federal facilities. It also mandated that federal power should be allocated to encourage the most widespread use at the lowest possible rates to consumers consistent with sound business principles. Now that we've taken a quick look at some of the regulations that have allowed WAPA to exist and guide its daily operations, now let me tell you a little bit more about our customer. WAPA sells firm power to nearly 700 preference customers across its four regions and one management center. WAPA has a requirement to market its power and energy to public entities known as preference customers. Preference customers include municipal utilities, cooperatives, irrigation districts, public utility districts, Native American tribes, and federal and state agencies. And these entities have specific legal standing that allows them the first option to purchase hydropower from WAPA. By giving preference to these types of entities, WAPA has been able to provide low-cost, reliable, and renewable power to many communities across the West. It has been an extremely valuable asset to many rural communities. 
Due to the preference requirement of the 1939 Reclamation Act, communities across the West were given access to WAPA's reasonably priced electricity in places where investor-owned utilities found it not very profitable to operate their businesses. For example, federal hydropower drives irrigation motors in California's Imperial Valley, keeps the lights on for the Fort Belknap Indian community in Montana, and powers the dining hall and dormitories at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico. The power that WAPA transmits across our vast service area comes from federal hydroelectric dams on rivers across the central and western United States. The system includes 10 power plants that make up California's Central Valley Project, 15 power plants in the Colorado River watershed, including Hoover and Glen Canyon dams, eight on the main stem of the Missouri River, operated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, plus another 20 power plants on the Missouri River tributaries. WAPA also markets the U.S. portion of power from two plants on the Rio Grande that are owned and operated by the U.S. Boundary and Water Commission, and power from Stampede Dam on the Little Truckee River in the High Sierras. The generating agencies, Reclamation, the Boundary and Water Commission, and the Corps of Engineers still own and operate these water projects, including the hydropower facilities, to provide flood control, navigation, irrigation, fish and wildlife protection, recreation, and municipal use. Another aspect of WAPA's operation concerns the amount of power we have available to sell. This is determined by how much water is available for hydropower generation. Water availability can fluctuate a great deal from year to year. When there is more capacity and more energy to sell, we can sell the surplus. When less is available, such as during the drought that has plagued much of the West and Great Plains, we purchase power or exchange energy with other utilities to ensure we can meet contract commitments to our customers. The hydroelectric dams from which WAPA sells power are grouped into separate projects for marketing and rate setting purposes. These water projects in the West were originally developed to make the arid region habitable by providing water for crops, cities, and towns. Hydropower was an added benefit to these large-scale water projects as a way to help the projects pay for themselves while providing energy for economic development and growing rural populations. These multi-purpose water projects still form the basis for WAPA's power marketing operations. WAPA markets power under marketing plans specific to each project. Each plan generally covers a 20-year period and is developed through a public process when additions to generation capacity occur, which is very rare, or when existing power sales contracts expire. Marketing plans specify the conditions for when and how WAPA will sell power. Marketing plans lead to long-term contracts to sell power to our preference customers, and the allocation criteria in the marketing plan spell out who will receive federal hydropower. Basically, we deliver wholesale power to the direct suppliers, and WAPA provides only a portion of our customers' total resource. It is not responsible for meeting the increasing energy and power demands of local utilities' customers, and our local utility customers themselves have the responsibility to meet load growth and supply their retail customers' total electric requirements. In the 21st century, WAPA has a vital role in the marketing and delivering of low-cost, reliable federal hydropower that ultimately reaches millions of homes and businesses. WAPA manages five control centers that balance load and resources within their specific geographic areas. Power system operators work around the clock in these locations to deliver power to where it's needed and when it's needed. WAPA also owns and operates alternating current, direct current, or ACDC interties that interconnect the eastern and western U.S. electricity grids. We are one of the few utilities that operates in both interconnections. To ensure everyone has equal access to our transmission system, we also provide open access through the internet-based open access same-time information system. WAPA plays a vital role in serving the West with federal power, and because we operate in a competitive energy industry, we'll continue to focus on reliability and customer service to help our customers keep the lights on throughout the western half of the country. This requires a lot of maintenance, but also requires natural resource management, planning, collaboration, and partnership.
Although WAPA's main service is providing firm electric service to its preference customers, it also provides energy management and marketing services, energy and resource planning, transmission service and interconnection services, and ancillary and BA services. Transmission is another important service that WAPA provides. WAPA's transmission system was built to deliver federal power to its preference customers. So delivering firm electric service to its preference customers is the first duty of the transmission system. But in accomplishing this mission, the full transmission capacity of WAPA's system is not utilized. The excess transmission capacity is sold to other utilities. WAPA provides three types of transmission services, point to point, network integration, and ancillary services. We also provide transmission planning services and tariff administration. And another of the services that WAPA provides that is important to the Western Interconnection is balancing authority services to help ensure the generation load and interchange in its three balancing authority areas are properly balanced and system stability is maintained. Some of the BA services that WAPA provides, things like regulation and frequency response, energy imbalance, and coordinating with the regional reliability coordinator.